Good morning, folks. Lot to cover today, so we're going to go quickly. A water spout making landfall in LA is a pretty good place to start. New monthly climate report indicates we could break all these temperature records we've set recently. An overwhelming amount of Americans now believe the climate is shifting and causing our weird weather, like the Gulf Stream deviation. It hasn't stopped like many are saying, but the Northern Loop has been disrupted as of late last year. The Nigerian flood season has been catastrophic. More of those new types of clouds seen in Atlanta. The Antarctic ice set another record high. Hawaii's northeast trade winds now officially have a significant documented decrease. I hope the trolls aren't sleeping on this article. And this article here is another good one on oceanic acidity. Scotland and the UK have had a rough 18 hours weather-wise. A low-pressure system has been parked over top for a full day. I'd love to get some first-hand accounts from you guys on just how bad it was. Had a hailstorm hit Nevada and crazy rain totals from Oregon to New Mexico. Here's a look at a bit of the causation here. There was a 20-foot wave that killed two people off the coast of Portugal. A couple moderate earthquakes in the Caribbean yesterday have the area on alert once more. A minor tremor struck north of Iceland. China took a few mid-sized quakes and evacuations are taking place to flee a volcano that is spewing fire and shaking the ground in Indonesia. In the U.S. today, we have two massive opposing systems meeting at the breadbasket and both cyclonic wind patterns pull north at the convergence, making that our severe weather watch zone for tonight with that shifting slightly east for tomorrow. Here's a quick look at tropical storms. You may notice we have our first South Indian Ocean storm. That season does not begin until November 1st, but TC1 here didn't care on her way to Madagascar. Praparoon will skirt by Japan in the Western Pacific as a rain event. Tropical Storm Raphael is going to hit the Virgin Islands in Puerto Rico today. If you're there and managed not to know about this, you got about five hours to prepare. This is yesterday, the big dark coronal hole turning to the right. We were exiting the previous stream and knew that one was coming. As you can see on Ovation Prime, it hit yesterday. You see this density spike here is like the particles bunched up by a broom, a part played by the speedy solar wind sweeping up the particles ahead of it. Gave our magnetic shield a good whack, induced multiple harmonic resonances, and caused a low-level magnetic storm. Solar flares are about the only thing we are missing from the equation. We do have active regions capable of flaring, but so far have not seen anything. Mercury heliocentrically conjoins Mars today, and the new moon is on our doorstep as well. We can expect more coronal hole impacts even without the flaring, so don't expect too much geomagnetic quiet. You see we have more coronal holes coming from the left with the bright active regions behind them. I'll leave you with a shot of my sunrise today here in Columbus, Ohio, Venus and the moon. Eyes open with no fear, folks. It's 5.55 a.m. Eastern Time. Time and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.